and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I wanted to make a vegan lentil and coconut soup. It was a recipe that I saw a few years ago but I wanted to just make it my way. So over here I've washed, peeled, sliced and diced some vegetables. So I've just got like a medium to large sized potato, a medium sized onion which I diced, a large carrot and two stalks of celery. So these are diced and we're just going to fry it off with a bit of olive oil. I've got a pan over a medium to high heat. So I'm just going to add a good amount of olive oil and the vegetables we have prepared. And all we're doing is frying these off just to get a bit of colour on these vegetables. It should take around three to four minutes. So the vegetables have had a chance to cook off a little. I'm going to start adding some seasoning. So over here I've got two bay leaves, about a qu three quarters of a teaspoon of coriander powder and three quarters of a teaspoon of cumin powder. I'm going to add that in. I've got a green chilli here. You can use a jalapeno or a, or a habanero chilli, about a good teaspoon of fresh grated ginger and three cloves of fresh garlic, which I've just minced. We're going to add that to the pot and stir it around. Let it cook for about a minute or two, just until it's fragrant, and to cook the raw spices off. Whilst we're frying off the spices, we're just going to prepare the rest. Over here, I've got about five, 250 grams of lentils. So I used about half and half of red, red split lentils and brown lentils. I gave them a good wash, just to get rid of any of that extra starch. And I've prepared that. This is starting to smell nice and fragrant, so we're going to add the lentils in. Along with the lentils, I'm going to crumble up a cube of vegetable stock. You don't have to use vegetable stock, you could just use water. But we're going to add about 1500 millilitres or a litre and a half of vegetable stock or water. So we're going to add the stock. And along with the stock, I'm going to add half a can of coconut milk. You could use any leftover coconut milk to make a Thai green curry, if you're unsure what to do with it. And you're going to mix it through and turn your heat up to a boil. So I'm just mixing it through. I'm going to turn this up to a boil just until that water gets nice and hot and then it's going to get reduced to a low simmer. So the soup has reached a boil, when it's at this point just reduce it to a low simmer and you're going to let this cook off for a good hour or two just until your lentils are nice and soft, cooked through and then we'll add the rest of the seasonings. Just give it the occasional stir so it, the heat's even, nothing's sticking. When your lentils are completely soft, your soup should be cooked enough and this is when we're going to finish adding the seasonings. If you wanted, you could partially blend some of it if you prefer a thicker soup, but this is the consistency I like. The red lentils have completely disintegrated into the soup, which I love. So now we're going to add a good tablespoon of soy sauce. And this is just going to give a good bit of body to the soup. I'm also going to zest the lemon. This, because I'm using the full zest from one lemon, make sure you're only zesting the yellow parts, you don't want to zest the, any of the white, that's where it's bitter. And we're going to reserve the lemon zest for later. I'm just using the microplane grater, and we're going to use the juice from one whole lemon for the soup. And we're going to gather up the zest from the lemon and put it aside for later. I'm going to squeeze the lemon juice into a little bowl just so I can catch any seeds and take them out before I add the juice from this full lemon to the soup. And now we're going to add a good amount of salt and pepper along with the lemon which I already added and then you're going to taste it for seasoning. If you need a little bit more obviously you can add more. I like a good amount of black pepper in mine. I just realised I forgot 
um, that I ran out of this habanero hot sauce, I like to add a good dash of that, but you can add a little dash of your favorite hot sauce just to really bring out the flavors in this soup. Stir this through, taste it for the seasoning, make sure it's right for you and add more if you need it. We're also going to discard any of the bay leaves that we had. So remember how many you added. Well, just before you serve, you're going to also chop up a good bunch of fresh coriander. Save some aside, you're just going to roughly chop these. Put a little bunch aside. We're just going to put a little aside. If you don't like the taste of coriander, you could of course use fresh parsley. That's a brilliant substitute for this recipe. I'm just going to put a little bit aside and the rest is going to go into the soup. When you add your coriander, your soup is now ready. I do suggest when you make the soup that you do allow it to stand for at least 10 to 15 minutes. It just helps the flavour of the soup really develop. And this soup, the best thing about it, it tastes better the longer it stays. I prefer sometimes to make it the day before because it tastes so much better the next day. Once the soup stands, we're going to finish preparing our granulata. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And we're just going to mince a clove of garlic into here. You can obviously double this recipe and double the amount that you're making, but I'm not making it for many people. So I'm also adding just a little bit of minced ginger. I'm using some uh, that I chopped earlier. And finally, some green chili. You can use a habanero. I feel like habanero would work better. I just don't have any on hand and I can't find it at the moment. But this works just as well. If you also like, you could add just a little sprinkle of red onion. But I feel like this is enough. And just mix it around. And you can serve this with your soup at the table. And it just gives a little pop of freshness with that lemon zest. It just finishes the soup really nicely. And that's all there is to it. You can serve soup in a little bowl with a little sprinkle of your granulata for a bit of freshness. It's not the most exciting looking soup, but it tastes so hearty and flavorful. I really do recommend you try it. It is one of my favorite recipes and it's completely vegan. So yep, try it out. If you like the recipe, please do leave a like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to see more and thank you very much for watching.